let's just start here with the lightweight MMORPG news segment. This is the lightweight MMORPG uh, news segment where we cover all of the lightweight MMOs that we're playing and adjacent to what we're playing. Uh, all the patch notes and the just the big announcements these games are dropping and the solo devs and etc. Uh, so our first game on the list is Overlord.gg. This is the newest game we're covering. Uh, we've been playing it for like a week and some change. I, I would say like maybe just a week on, on its head. And it's already got a, a beta announced. It was an alpha testing and it's going to be wiped uh, tomorrow actually. I think 2 p.m. U.S. Eastern and then something like 7 something CST or some shit. I, not CST. I, I I don't know. But I think 2 p.m. Eastern time. If you're an East Coast gang, you know what up. Uh, but anyway, these are the... So the beta was announced uh, and the wipe date was announced for tomorrow. Uh, but this these are the actual patch notes attached to that announcement. It is long. It is insane. Uh, but... Luckily, I'm not going to go through it all here because there's so much data uh, or info. CrazyFi did an in-depth video for this. Uh, so if you're an Overlord.gg player or you're interested in the game because you've heard us talk about it, just go check it out. Go on our channel. Uh, CrazyFi you know, threw this up, um, I believe, yesterday. And he did a great job going through the patch notes and the changes in depth. But here are some highlights to the game, okay? So there's going to be an alpha tester badge, similar to like Ironwood RPG, if you've ever played that. There's going to be core balance philosophy update, so the uh, the meaning behind the changes. There's going to be guild power uh, changes, because players could, you know, rely on their, their strongest F guild and be strong as hell. Uh, dungeon system and hero training rework there's pvp loot multiplier change there's dodge mechanic changes there's horseman changes which is a unit in the game uh, there's city travel changes there's shrine changes rebalances and bug fixes and a bunch of other small stuff so it's a huge patch breakdown i have it pulled up here uh, if you play the game um, or if you want to play the game make an account go to the patch notes section and you can read through it i mean look at this oh my bad here look at this Look, there's just so much. I'm just scrolling. I'm just I'm just one patch note. I'm just scrolling. Okay. But that's overlord.gg. Let's move on to the next game because it gets exciting. It's idle MMO time. We all love idle MMO time. Alright, so we have idle MMO here. Uh, a game created by Galahad Creative. It's a idle hybrid game. Um, where it's, you know, it's got idle features and it's got active play features. Um, so if you're into that. And it's their newest game. It's been out for, I don't know, well over six months, I think, at this point. And we have the latest version, which is 0.20.2. .20 and the biggest thing, so there's a lot of stuff being fixed here. We're not going to go over that. But the biggest thing, chat, you need to see the first line. They scheduled the Eve of Shadow seasonal campaign. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this was the campaign during one of its closed testing uh, before we went into the winter season. Uh, and, of course, this is... Uh, scheduled for October, it says the 21st. So this is the Halloween event for Idle MMO. Uh, if you know, if you've been a fan of Couch Cat for a while, if you know me, I love the Halloween events. Thank you, Kasu. I love the Halloween events, and I'm excited to see that Idle MMO has a Halloween event. Uh, generally, if you don't know Idle MMO, their events they add a um, exclusive dungeon to like the event location. On the map they add an exclusive world boss um, and then they also have a skill that they add to the game where you collect resources to then upgrade them into different tiered resources within that little skill and you trade those in for points on it's it's essentially um you know a, a seasonal pass but it's a, it's a it's an event seasonal pass so to speak it's a camp it's on the campaign tab it's it's a it's a campaign so you trade those resources in to get campaign items uh which could be you know wallpapers avatars uh pets which are you know the biggest draw but the avatars are banger too uh but yeah and things in you know just general shit like upgrade stuff and chess and whatnot but yeah that's sick um they do good they do campaigns good in idle mmo and then they fix a bunch of stuff that you know like who I don't really, you know, but then down here, the daily seasonal task will give more points than they used to, uh, and this will take effect during the Evo Shadows event. 
which you know will effectively make it easier. Uh, I don't do task in idleml unless I just do it naturally because they're awful. Okay, so here is um, a, a, another portion. It's uh, 0 .20, 0 0.3. This came out after um, you know when I was making this video <laughs> or making the notes here. But look, it's just more fixes. It's more fixes. But anyway, what you should take for, away from these patch notes, you should be taking away the Evo Shadows seasonal campaign. That's what you should be taking away here. Usually we move into Ironwood RPG here. Uh, there's no, there's no major, major, there's no major changes going on. We have one more game. We have Simple Old Mill, uh, and it's not an update per se, but it is, however, it is, however, important to the game, in my opinion, and we're going to go over it. So this is for the Simple Mill segment of the news segment. Um, this isn't a patch note or anything like that, but it is a, it is a, a well said um, statement by a prominent artist and longtime player of the community uh, goes by Rogarth. If you know, you know. Um, and last stream for context, last stream. Uh, so, okay, every stream we have a community channel um, tab posting. So if you go to our channel on YouTube, go to community, uh, you'll see a post where we. You know, we drop the topics for the stream and we ask for feedback or hot takes, uh, you know, your thoughts on these topics or, you know, um, around these adjacent to these topics. So um, there was a discussion last stream that we had. You can watch the VOD. It's there uh, where we were talking, you know, the, 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 the greater sentiment, it feels like in Simple Mo is that it's dead or it's on the back burner because I don't know is just blowing up with success. I mean, look at the discord numbers, look at the active player base, you know, like 9,000 or some shit. Uh, and people feel because, you know, simple knows roadmap got, um, <laughs> thrown to the side and the coding is under, you know, it's being redeveloped or it's being, uh, fixed or updated. Uh, so there's a lot of back-end changes coming to Simple Mo with one or two updates we've had this year, but that's not good enough to for players. And um, this point uh, was well constructed by Rogarth, and it focuses on the communication around these updates in Simple Mo or lack thereof. Um, and you know they bring up some valid you know points from Mike's perspective, which is the developer of Simple Mo. He's also the developer of Idle Mo. So this is a very long post chat. <laughs> so I'm going to read as much as I can. Um, and he talks about, oh, you know, he's talking to a, another longtime player in the game, Van Brill. He's from Knights of the Internet, you know, a bunch of perverts. And they're talking about, you know, uh, why does everyone think Simple Mo's abandoned and yada, yada. So this topic, which we're discussing right now, which is like, is, uh, is Simple Mo dead or left in the dust because of the idle MMO? Um, he talks about how he's heard it time and time again. He's heard it on our stream. He's heard us counterpoint it or even discuss it on our stream. Uh, and then goes into, um, you know, his overarching theme here or his thought process on the, on, on the topic at hand says, Rogar says, I immediately remember crab event. The crab event was really cool. People went crazy with it. Uh, it was a special event in the game, uh, a bunch of crab shit. <laughs> uh, and you know it was it was an event celebrating the game and the community and eventually it evolved into the community event which is a seasonal event that happens every year in simple mill that uh the mod team and the developers you know uh bring in art from the community and put it in the game and regard saying what separates both these events given they are so similar in structure the rules are still the same Make a sprite, submit a sprite, and then if it gets into the game, you get diamonds. Some awesome stuff happened during the crab event. A guy made a song. Me and someone, uh, Rogarth and someone, tried making some sort of trailer mock-up thing. And of course, we all made a bunch of goofy sprites. I feel like the core difference is the interaction we had of talking with Mike and the feeling that he came up with a theme and, a pro and proposed to us to create something based on that. I can't for sure confirm this since the chats were deleted, but I am also sure Mike used to chat in the chat where we discussed the ideas for sprites we had, intern jokes, blah, blah, blah. Um, the, it was a collaborative event, like the dev has plans and he has invited us to participate. That's the feeling that, you know, Rogarth and his friends were feeling. And, uh, 
a feel he was feeling a feeling he was feeling but um and this is just a highlight that you know in an earlier time mike was very engaged he was in global chat he was in discord uh the simple mode discord um he you know he was showing his face more right and that's what he's trying to like highlight here and then he for furthermore he goes crab event was cool because it felt collaborative the community and mike were building something together community event feels like it's an art dump where the already established artists of the community are invited to dump unused artworks check this a quote from mike himself on the very first community event after the crab event I also want to add on to the above that the sprites can be literally anything. It does not have to be a crab. Be creative. Flex artistic muscles. It can be as amazing or as terrible as you want it to be. There's literally no bar for quality here. Want to submit something among the likes of a modern era of Van Gogh? Go for it. Want to submit an abomination? Do it. Most pixel artists do that already. I won't stop you. I want to laugh, to cry, to understand the meaning of life with your art. Regular rules still apply, obviously. And Rogar says, this, the message above this quote is Wick explaining the event on its specific requirements, but notice this last part of Mike's message. I want to laugh, to cry, to understand the meaning of life with your art. Crab event was cool because we interacted with Mike. He cared about the event. He checked on us. He asked us, hey, let's collab on this. This is what we don't have anymore, which is true. Back then, these events felt like a moment of bonding and interaction with the community and the dev. People building up jokes together, collaborating on pieces, discussing what could be done. Nowadays, it is just like blank. Community events are just impersonal. It's just a dump. There's no connection between what we are doing there and any sort of plan of vision of content Mike could be planning for the future. Oh my god. Damn, Rogar. That, what, what is this, man? And it literally, and it really is just a matter of phrasing stuff. Like, just make this comparison. Search the words 4,000 new items on Simple Mode Disco Server. There will be four messages, two from this year's item update and two from Eden's set update. Look how a single image to a similar post makes a huge difference. It's much more personal. You feel like time was put there. Something was being shown to us. Look at this cool new thing we have to show you guys, which is true. And what he's saying is the last item dump, we call them item dumps, but it was the last update where they add tons of like bloat gear into the, the game system. Um, there's no like mock-up art. There's, there's nothing really celebrating or hyping this update. They're just like, here's like freaking a kajillion more items that you're probably not going to use. But red, our current artist has this amazing new set that's being in, you know, placed into the game. And there's like three versions of them. There's, there's like three sets with three tier or like a different tiers of this, you know, the armor sets where there's like, you know, broken to blah, blah, blah. Um, that wasn't really... It was all in text. There was no like cover art. There was no banner. There was no like, this is the new set or sets, excuse me, coming into, this is going to be the new best in class, which a lot of competitive players care about. There was none of that. And this is what Rogar is trying to make a point. And he says, this last item update was the closest we had to an update for a long while and red worked really hard to put out not one but three amazing sets each one with different levels of oh damn i should just let rogar tell you tell you for me levels of complexity increasing with broken damage etc from what it's worth red worked much harder on that update than ubi probably did <laughs> yo f in chat for ubi f in chat dude f <laughs> Especially considering how much time Ubi must have saved by stealing art here. <laughs> I'm gonna get sued. Here we go. I'm getting sued live. <laughs> this 4,000 items update could actually be cool. Did you notice that the celestial drop rate was increased? That was very cool information was, uh, and was delivered just as you would tell someone you drank a glass of water. It could be phrased and portrayed in a way that communicated, hey, we care about you guys. Here's some cool stuff we made for you. And we know for a fact that they know how to do that. You just got to go to Idol MMO server and check their announcements channel. Fair point. The same exact content, the same exact time put into coding and implementing it in game can have a very different impact on the vision the player base have of the state of the game. The community has often treated Mike poorly. A lot of dung hit the fan several times. I can assume he can be upset about some portions of the community, the non-stopping guild drama, about being bombarded with complaints just by showing his face in the chat. 
It would be extremely hard for a person that is mistreated by a community to keep writing with heartfelt messages. I get that. I think it is a consensus that I don't even know is the main focus. It's more successful and seems to be more lucrative. The format of current update development for Simple ML, in my honest opinion, Rogarfs, is not a big problem. It is just a matter of presentation. In the art environment, we talk. Rogarth is an artist. He's he's an actual artist. Like he's got he, he's he's not just doing pixel art, okay? In the art environment, we talk a lot about this. No matter how cool a drawing is, if you frame it poorly, people won't be able to see how cool it is. That's how I feel about Simple Mill. It seems to be missing one final step to updates before announcing. Just that final thoughtful writing, making some mock-ups, and bam, complete different feels to the same content. So that was the latest Game of Thrones novel by Rogarth. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is the stream. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> so first all, first off, yeah, that was a journey, Rogar. Thank you so freaking much. Maybe next time you want to do this, uh, shorten it down a bit. Okay, shorten it down a bit, bud. But anyway, Rogar makes a a great point. We've Chris Fine not and I have talked about this, you know, multiple times. So he adds this, you know, layer to the conversation and actually I, i'll just scroll back down um this part right here this this part right here so the blog posts the hell the good mornings in the discord hell he doesn't even say hello to us in our uh, in the couch cast server anymore um this this right here you know mike being treated poorly by the community not even the whole, not the whole community, but the, the vocal minority, right? This is why we don't have the attention to detail or the personality behind updates, communication, just things in general, okay? And um, it's because of his treatment. So, and we've seen this, and I, and I thought about this for a while, uh, and we've seen this time and time again, you know, uh, the financial, like the the economic update to the game with the market, the same players, you know, like players like Alucard, Babel essentially, uh, high level players who have played a certain way, and you know they something changes, and they go to the simple mode Discord, and they what's the thing they post? Oh, Mike's killed his own game. Guess I'll play something else like Manastoria. That game sucks. Uh, and you know, they it's just like it's just like fucking word vomit about you know your game sucks now. I'm not gonna play it. And then they continue to play the game. These they continue to play the game even after all the shit they talk. And what happens? That player or players who attack Mike's decision making or attack Mike uh, personally, which they did for everyone to see they get to still enjoy the game maybe a little less because they can't you know make a bajillion gold per step like they used to but they get to enjoy the game and mike his you know his quote-unquote armor gets chipped uh the willingness to engage with the community lessens every time he has to read a message like that and that's what's led to our current situation here in the simple mode community a dev where you know you could truly call this this person a human being behind the screen a friend for for a lot of us and just a cool dev to the you know the surface level player uh, of their engagement of seeing them in global chat you know doing his little he he before he bans all these auto clickers right or, or, you know, alt traders, things like that nature, that's all gone because players wanted to target him. You know, whether the update sucked or not, it's still a human, that's still a human. So this point that Rogar brought up, I think it deserves, you know, I think it needs to be longer than his actual point. <laughs> but I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. But this has been, you know, I've seen this shared, this the sentiment shared, or even conveyed, this message conveyed by Yomu, who's now, you know, he's the code dev of IdleML, he's the admin, so the face of SimpleML right now. Um, you know, Yomu has come out and said this, like, 
Mike doesn't do X, Y, and Z because you guys told him to kill himself. You know, shit like that. Uh, and uh, players who've been here for a long time who haven't turned on on Mike, because <laughs> uh, we have some of those. We have some of those in Global right now. Uh, but players who've been here a long time, playing the game, observing the game, you know, interacting with Mike, have said the same thing. It's like, why would you want to stick your neck out again? So it's very unfortunate. <sighs> um, I don't know if that could ever be undone. Uh, I don't know if, you know, the way Mike, I, I truly don't know how he feels because I've never talked to him directly about it. I don't know if he would even talk to me about it. Uh, it's just unfortunate. So, so the overall arching point here, simple mode dead. It's not, uh, we have questions prepared. Couch cat has questions prepared for Mike, for Yomu. Uh, and once we, we, we shot those questions over, once we get those answers, of course, that will be content that we're going to share with all of you. That concludes the lightweight MMORPG new segment.